Uh, Ned, good to see you. Uh, great that you're down here in Hobart and here at the Kingwood Sports Centre, obviously checking out the uh, Tri Series. Um, what exactly are you down here for? Uh, look, I've come to see the uh, come to see the Tri Series. I've come to meet with the board of Basketball Tasmania. Uh, I've come to um, just see what's happening in basketball here in Tasmania. There's been um, a fantastic reform here over the last four years. Um, all of the organisations within the sport are working together, um, and that's exactly what we need in our sport. Uh, we've got, uh, you know, over the years, Tasmania's produced some fantastic players. We want to see that continue, uh, and and the the. The, uh, uh, Chris and the uh, the team have invited me down here to uh, just to see what's going on, and you know I'm blown away. The uh, the Kingra Sports Centre is really uh, uh, really rocking today. Uh, there's there's kids everywhere. There's people enjoying the game, uh, and it's just wonderful to see the sport really blooming um, in a place that's produced many wonderful players over a long period of time. And you've got a chance to have a bit of a look at some of the games already. What do you think of the standards so far? Yeah, look, it's fantastic. You know, just behind us here, we've got uh, uh, kids that are. Really Really, just um, you know, uh, working very hard out there on the court. They're having a lot of fun, but the quality is really good. There's some, uh, you know, I've noticed that there's some, you know, there's some strong coaching here. There's a really good infrastructure um, to support coaching, to support referees, and to support the players. Um, and I think what we're seeing here today is that's uh, that's really coming to the fore. So that uh, uh, you know, the kids have got a great future. They've got they've got really good support. Um, of course, we need more uh, infrastructure, more courts. Uh, because we're bursting at the seams as a sport and so uh, particularly in the Hobart and the southern region um, you know more stadiums are, are absolutely required but I think uh, what we're seeing here is just uh, fantastic and the standards excellent. You've done some work for Victoria and Vic V basketball in your recent history as far as, far as your um, uh, resume is concerned and there's always talk about low, more courts to be in Victoria and asking, and here in Tasmania we're always asking for more courts. So from a basketball Australia perspective, are you in total support of that? Oh, look, absolutely. We know that there are literally hundreds of thousands of players that are uh, playing the sport that, that, that we don't know about. We're working very hard on a national project to ensure that we've got a national database so that we know exactly who's playing the sport. And I'm sure that what we're going to find is there is literally hundreds of thousands more people than we think. What that means is that we need more we need more courts for those people to play. We know in Victoria, and I know from uh, talking to uh, to Basketball Tasmania, it's the same situation here, um, that there are just too many players for the courts that we have. And so we need to ensure that if the sport's going to grow, uh, a key issue for us is infrastructure. So we're very focused on it. Um, we're putting a national strategy together to support the uh, the growth of the infrastructure and to develop more courts, um, and it's a high priority for us. Obviously, if we do get more courts, and more participation levels, of course. Does that raise a voice to say that Basketball Australia should bring the Opals and the Boomers down here to Tasmania to try to showcase the, the national national team? Yeah, look, I think um, I, I think we need to do, you know, really consider doing that now um, anyway. I think that the sport here has done a fabulous job of really um, of, of, uh, of, of getting its, uh, uh, you know, it, it's, you know, you know, really aligning and, and, and growing the game. Um, and we know that one of the best ways to grow the game is to, is to uh, ensure that the heroes of the game um, and the Boomers and the Opals, many of whom are playing in the NBA, in the WNBA, um, can actually be seen by the kids. And so we're um, very supportive of that. And I think Tasmania really deserves that. I think it's been 11 years since there's been an international game here. Um, and, uh, and there's no reason why that shouldn't occur. And we'll, we'll certainly be looking at that. You got a chance today to speak with uh, Hobart Chargers President David Bartlett. And what were your kind of discussion points with him about um, obviously, Basketball Australia does run the Siebel competition. So, was there anything that you could elaborate for us there? Yeah, look, I think that. Uh uh, you know, David and his team have done a fantastic job of really um, strengthening the Chargers program. Um, you know, there's no, uh, it's no secret, I think, that, you know, they have had some issues over the, over the, over the recent past, and so I think those have really been um, uh, resolved, and I think the team's done a great job of, um, of, of uh, you know, really putting that team in the, in the spotlight. Um, in terms of the, the Siebel competition, we're extremely supportive of, of the team here. Um, we know that the Siebel is often a precursor to an NBL or a WNBL team, um, and, and, and in the long term it would be fantastic to see one of those teams uh, in those competitions back here um, in, uh, in Tasmania. Uh, and uh, at, in fact, at the start of the uh, NBL 30 plus years ago, Tasmania was very well represented, and so we'd like to see that again. 
David has done an amazing job in in, uh, in the work that he's done. He's obviously uh, uh, you know a highly accomplished person, um, and he really gets what needs to be done in the sport. And it's really exciting to see people of his calibre involved and driving change within basketball. And what's ahead for you and and the Basketball Australia board over the next 12 months? What do we see progressing, and what do we see developing? Look, I think one of the, the, the key objectives for, uh, for basketball is for us to uh, ensure that um, as a central body um, helping to grow the sport, we need to be, uh, we need to be stronger in terms of our um, uh, financial, financial structure and the ability to support all the areas of the game. So the best way to help others is to help, you know, to, to, to be strong um, centrally and we need to uh, do that. So we're very focused on um, uh, driving commercial outcomes for the sport. Um, basketball traditionally uh, has not received a lot of um, funding from, from government for, for, for venues and for, and for other things and we need to uh, uh, we need to look at that, but we need to look at helping ourselves as well. So we know that we have uh, hundreds of thousands of, um, of participants. Um, we're working to, to ensure that all of those um, players are on a national database and, and officials and parents so that we actually understand who our constituents are. And when we do that, we can communicate with them and really drive um, commercial change um, and engagement of the sport. And so that's really the central focus of what we want to do over the coming 12 months. Ned, really good to see you and great to see you've made the trip down here to, to Hobart here in Tasmania. Enjoy your time while you're here and we'll speak to you again soon on BTAS TV. Thank you. Yep, I'm looking forward to it. It's fantastic to be here. Really excited and uh, uh, yeah, appreciate the invitation.